So, Dave Whittenbury here from Quality Livestock, here with Dan Hammett from Battaloo, uh, Paul Marino stud. Just uh, came to say g'day at ram lamb shearing time and been doing a bit of wool testing and those sorts of things. So, uh, just thought we'd give everybody a bit of an idea as to what Battaloo's all about. Um, so, Dan, what are your breeding objectives here at Battaloo? Um, we're trying to breed a uh, easy care, easy care merino. Um, we collect a lot of a lot of data and uh, use estimated breeding values to to enhance the traits we're trying to push. Um, free a free growing wool that stays really white. It's bold and and extremely long for for six months shearing, and and with all that, uh, yeah, high fertility, high lamb survival and low ewe mortality. Yeah, beautiful. So we know that um, in the commercial realms of the Merino sheep world, that the, um, you know, the, the goalposts are changing and, and we've been working with, uh, with a lot of these styles of sheep more and more from the traditional Merino to the type of sheep that you breed. Um, I guess from, a, uh, from an ASBV point of view or a figures point of view, um, that's new to a lot of people in the merino job. So, can you give us a bit of an idea of what figures it is that you that you chase and and, and why you chase them? Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I guess we we start with uh, high growth rates. Um, you know, we want to be turning lambs off as early as we can. So we really target weaning, post weaning, and yearling weights. Um, and to go with that, we want high muscle and fat to obviously increase carcass, but also lamb survival and um, and doing ability of the ewe to get more lambs on the ground. Uh, and then we also have uh, like our fleece testing, uh, fleece weights and uh, micron staple lengths, CVs, all those sorts of things. Um, and the, the breeding values enable us to really pinpoint um, what animals are performing better than others and, and you know gel those animals together to, to meet our targets.